Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today I have a book haul for you. I haven't been doing book hauls very frequently because if you remember from my goals for 2021 was to not buy as many backlist books that were just sit on my shelf and not be read. So most of the books that I'm like accumulating this past few months are either arcs from the publisher or gifts or new releases that I was very excited for that I really want to read soon. And there actually are a few <laughs> backlists that I bought, but I'm very excited for and I hope to read them like next month. We'll see how that goes. So let's start with the arcs. I'm gonna start with the only one that I read from this pile, which was You Will Remember Me by Hannah Mary McKinnon. I already revealed this on my last wrap up. I'm going to link that in the card so you can check it out. And this is a thriller about a, a man who wakes up uh, somewhere he doesn't know who he is, he doesn't remember his past, doesn't know anything and he starts to run around trying to find things that will help him remember. Uh, we also follow two women here, I can't say much, it's a thriller. I really liked it, I enjoyed it. If you're looking for a cool thriller to read, I would recommend this one. This comes out on May 25th, so by the time that I'm filming the video it's not out yet, so check it out. Then I have two that actually already came out, but I haven't read yet. The first one is Central Park by Guillaume Musso. This is a French translation. It's been out in France for a while, from what I understood. But it came out in English in March of this year. And it's about a man and a woman who wake up in Central Park. And they don't remember how they got there, like the day before they were in Paris or something. And it sounds really interesting and I'm really intrigued to read it. Did I say it's a thriller? It's a thriller. And I'll let you know more about it when I read it. This one came out in April, it's called Folklore by Angela Mee Young Hu. And it's about a Korean physicist who is working in Antarctica and some weird stuff starts happening. It says it's a genre-defying continent-spanning saga of, a, of Korean myth, scientific discovery and the abiding love that binds even the most broken of families. There's some stuff with her mother as well, her mother has some secrets. So it's kind of like a thriller but also a... Um, I don't know what's going on here, it sounds really interesting, maybe it has some fantasy elements in it, supernatural stuff, I don't know, but I'm really curious and I really hope I can read it soon. It came out in April, like I said, and I'll let you know more when I read it. This one comes out in June and it's called Star Eater by Kirsten Hall and it's a fantasy from what I understood about a world where women just have to get pregnant and preserve the bloodlines but this main character here doesn't want to do that and she's kind of hired to be a spy. And it talks about the sacrifices that these women have to make to even have the chance of having a choice in the matter of their lives. And it sounds really interesting as well, like all of this. And I also love this cover a lot. <laughs> the next two I just received yesterday by HarperCollins Canada. Thank you so much for sending this. The first one is one that I really wanted since the first time that I that I heard about it because I like thrillers. I am intrigued about YA thrillers. Recently there are two more in this book haul, so I'm really happy they sent this to me. It's called Don't Breathe a Word by Jordan Taylor and it's about a secret society at a boarding school and that's all I needed to know. I, like I said, hope I read it soon. It comes out in May already, so it might be out. It might be coming out really, really soon. Oh, May 18th. It's like next week, next Tuesday from when I'm filming this. So it will have come out by the time I post this video. So check this one out. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really intrigued by it and it sounds really cool. And then the next one that they sent was Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June. And this is the first YA book by Jason June. And this is about a boy who is the only gay kid in his uh, small town where he lives, but he moves to a big city and now he has like other gay kids around him, he has people to talk about what he's going through, what he's feeling, and he has a list of things that he wants to accomplish, I think. It's a way contemporary, so not what I usually read, but it sounds really cute and I'm really curious to see how the story unfolds. And that was it for the arcs that I received, now let's talk about some manga. I bought the first four volumes, this is really heavy, of Vagabond. I like showing it on the side because it looks really cool, but it's really hard to hold this book up. There we go. It looks really cool together. I haven't read any of them yet. My husband read the first one and he enjoyed it, so he's going to continue with the series and I'm going to read them at some point as well. I don't know much about what the story is about, but I think it's like 
a Japanese historical fiction almost with fantasy elements because he's a samurai but has some like powers but not necessarily like fantastical powers more like mythical powers I don't know I haven't read them but I want to read more manga and I picked up this one because it looks cool <laughs> it sounds interesting and then the other manga that I bought was of course Fullmetal Alchemist volume 13 I have my whole collection here and it's looking really pretty and this is one of my favorite series ever. I can't wait to continue with it. I'm reading the series as these editions are released, so like every three months I get a new one. But I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to read this one as well. Now for some new releases. I just received yesterday Down Shard by Brendan Sanderson. This is like the 3.5 in the Stormlight Archive. I'm not there yet. I read half of the first book, but my husband is exactly in this book right now so he's already reading it but we received the physical copy yesterday because it was the add-on for the kickstarter campaign and we received it with a bunch of other cool stuff if you haven't seen it on my instagram be sure to check it out i'm gonna leave that in the highlights there so you can look at it but we got this one and it goes with this other cute book so they look really nice together and two other new releases that i've already read the first one is house of hollow by crystal sutherland i already revealed this on my wrap up so check that out for this reel as well. This is fantasy, mystery, weird things going on here about three sisters who disappeared when they were little uh, for a month and they don't remember anything that happened to them, but they became a little bit weirder and now in the present some other stuff starts happening and we go from there trying to find out what happened to them, how is that, how that's linked. One of the sisters disappears now in the present and the other two are trying to find her, all that. Unfortunately, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping it should be, but you can hear my full thoughts in the wrap-up. And the next one that I've already read but I haven't reviewed it yet is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. And this was a complete five stars. You will just have to wait for my wrap-up when I review this full thing, but this is a sci-fi about two sisters again. But this one was a hit. They were separated for some situations that we don't know exactly in the beginning. We actually don't know a lot about it in the beginning, but it's just so beautifully written and it there's so many twists here and it's crafted so well and like everything fits together in the end that I just I loved it. I was very immersed in the story and I just wanted to keep reading and wanted to keep seeing more of the sisters' lives. Be sure to subscribe to hear my full thoughts about this book on my wrap up. Now there are only four more books to talk about. This one was a gift from Clementine. I'm gonna link her Instagram doll in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for sending this to me. It means a lot. It's a book that I was highly anticipating to read and I know she loved it a lot and I can't wait to get into it and love it as well. And it is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paulini. This is just a beautiful book and it's chunky and I can't wait to read it. This is a sci-fi about a lot of things uh, from what I know but the synopsis at least says that it starts with a woman finding an alien relic and I guess it's not a nice thing it, there are going to be some bad stuff happening because of that and I'm really excited to read it again thank you so much I really really appreciate it and then the next three are backlist books that I bought <laughs> The first one is You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. If you've been following my channel for a little bit, you know my favorite book last year was Horrid by Katrina Leno. And this sounds a lot like it has the same vibes, although I don't know the plot exactly. I'm just going by the author, the cover, and by the fact that it sounds weird. All I know is that it's about a girl who has been going through a very hard spot in her life and she has this magical place that she goes to and I think she wants revenge on everyone. I I want to read it. <laughs> so that's the second one of the YA thrillers that I mentioned and this is another YA thriller. It's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. I've heard such cool things about this book. It sounds just like a lot of fun. I know that some people say it's not as realistic because it's YA so it doesn't go like as far as thrillers usually go and maybe it's like all about teenagers solving the thing but I don't know it just what I've heard about it just sounds like a fun time and sometimes that's what I'm in what I want especially from YA thrillers I usually want it to be just a lot of fun even if it's not as realistic or really weird like horrid 
So we'll see if this one is the fun that I'm expecting it to be. And it looks like it's a mixed media, not exactly mixed media, but it has like interviews and um, like transcripts from something. So I'm really curious to read it and to see what I think. I've heard the audiobook is amazing, but I couldn't find it in my library or anywhere. So I'm just going with the physical one. And then the last book for this book haul is Obsidio by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. I just finished Gemina a few weeks ago and I loved it. I can't wait to complete the series. It took me a long time to read Gemina after Illuminae. This is the third book in the Illuminae series. Should have said that. Sci-fi. This one is very, very mixed media. And I'm really excited to finish this series. It's not very often that I finish series, but I want to finish this one this year for sure. Like hopefully next month because I'm in the mood to read some sci-fi if you haven't noticed. Sci-fi and thrillers, that's what I'm mostly in the mood for lately. But I'm very excited for all of these new books that were added to my bookshelf this past few months since I did my last book haul. <laughs> Let me know which one you're more curious about or which one you've read and you would recommend me to read first before all the others. And remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. Bye.